Hello and welcome to 5 minutes of black magic. Well, it's not magic really, but it sounds like because what we want to do is add actual company data to anonymous visitors. So people visit the site and we don't know nothing about them and still we can tell what company they are coming from and what properties those companies have. Why would we do that? Let's start from the goal. The goal is to have something like this a segment where we can filter for company properties and then act on that. Let's imagine we know that person is coming from a certain industry and has a certain relevance. We can then display focus items specifically to them or change the content of the site through dynamic web content or other means. And that can be really powerful. So let's see how we can do that. Obviously, we need the company data in the company data set. So first of all, we need some fields that we want to work with. We do have custom fields in Mordic. We create some standard fields for this feature and uh, see how we can fill them. So in the end, it might look like this. There is some data in this automatically created data set. Not all data is perfect. Not all data is filled in. But if you look at the nature of the fields, like number of employees, annual revenue, company tags and industry. That is exactly the things that we want to filter for in segments. Now, where do we get this data from? What we use is commercial services that provide that sort of data. And we start off with two of them. They're called BigPictureIO and WiredMinds.com. Where do those companies get their data from? They do their own research. They collect data from, from public sources like LinkedIn, and some put a lot, lot of effort into raising the quality of the relevant company data. Okay, so they have the data. How can we get the right data? How can we identify what data we have? Obviously, all we see on the website is the IP address. We may turn that into a domain name. So those are the two things that we have as a key for the company data lookup with those commercial services. That's how it works. The actual implementation in Mordic does require some brain power. For instance, um, what we don't want to look at at all is all the B2C traffic, it's all the dial-up traffic that is not going to end up in relevant company data for sure by definition. So we want to identify those upfront and, and filter them out before we even touch any API outside of us. The other thing what we do is heavy caching. So why would we look up things time and again? Let's make sure to have a, an intelligent caching framework that helps us recognizing data that we already did look up or data that does not exist in the external service. So why look it up time and again? The immediate reaction when it comes to services like this is privacy issues. Is this legal in the first place? The great thing is that we don't store any data except company data, so no personal data by definition. So there's no GDPR involved. We are safe on that side. Also, no personal data is handed to any third party. Therefore, no, no data processing, no data processing agreement, etc. With one exception, if you use the IP address as a key for the lookup, as opposed to the domain name, then that may be personal data, unless you can really make sure that it's clean and it's only B2B data, then it's fine. But in most cases, that's really difficult. So you may need a data processing agreement there, or you use a service that works on domain names. Okay, long story short, we do have a working architecture, a really flexible one too, and, and we think we are on a really good way. We also have tests with various data providers with really mixed results. So some have their strengths here, some have, have their strengths in other places. It's really depending on what your clients are and also what your budget is. The good thing is that if we can allow to work with different data providers, eventually maybe even multiple at the same time, then you can find out which is the best for you. And you will definitely have better than nothing data. It's no, never going to be perfect but it's going to be tremendously helpful. And we had a lot of fun by using this in our test cases already. And if you are interested in getting early access to this feature 
and in supporting this feature as a native feature of Mordic going forward, then do get in touch. We do a little bit of crowdfunding and we hope to get this thing published really soon. Thank you very much for today and have fun at Mordicon. <laughs> <laughs>